Good morning, my peeps. Good morning, and I love you. Happy Friday. And we've got rain. Boy, do we have rain. And I'm so glad for it. It has been so dry and hot, but finally the rain arrived. And that's half of the reason I way overslept today. <laughs> Chewy gave me another bad night. I was up probably till 2.33 in the morning and before I know it, I'm just whew, conked out and woke up and I was like, oh my goodness. I had just enough time to drink some coffee, brush my teeth, throw in my contact lenses and that's it. <laughs> Logged in a minute late despite my efforts. But I'm talking way too much for this early in the morning, so I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Let's see what the rest of the day holds. Remember, I love you. Now brush your teeth. Okay. Well, at some point I've got to get around to updating this recipe card so it's easier to read. <laughs> but I've decided I'll take my lunch and get started on this cake, the pig picking cake, or some people call it a pea picking cake. And I haven't made it since we made it, I guess a month and a half ago, two months ago, when um, my nephew Dylan got you know, reassigned with the Air Force, so now he's closer to home. And I've got all the ingredients here, guys. I needed two cans of the mandarin oranges but i've got these little individual ones that is going to make up for the second can four eggs got the cool whip for the topping and the vanilla pudding mix doesn't have a lot of ingredients but it does have you know a number of steps considering it's a box cake but i'm going to go ahead and get started now because it's got to stay in the refrigerator for a long time before you can actually get around to eating it so let's go Right, the cake cooled I was able to put the topping on it so now it's just a matter of decorating it with a few mandarin orange slices here and then I'm gonna pop it back in the fridge so I can set up for dessert tonight Glenn got home early stopped at the store and he got hot dogs and buns so we're gonna make it a chili dog night since this rainy weather puts you in the mood for uh, comfort food and that's gonna be it but before I can get to all that, I still have a work day to finish. Hmm, let me see how else I can make this look civilized. All right guys, talk to you in a little bit. When I picked this up at Ross, I picked it up because of the typo. <laughs> this is what always makes me laugh. Whenever I look at it, it brings a smile to my face. Basically, I could see how it ended up at Ross. Although I guess you could say it still makes sense, but in 1 Corinthians, you know, love, it always protects, trusts, hopes, and it's supposed to be perseveres. <laughs> 
and it says preserves. But I guess love can preserve you in a way, too. Love never fails. That's all that really matters, but it always brings a smile to my face, so I thought I would just point it out since I know this has been kind of floating around in the background for a while, but I've never actually pointed out why I bought it. <laughs> all right, guys. Let me try to wrap up this day. And the rain is not helping. It is finally the weekend, people. Woohoo! Glenn's already got the hot dogs on the grill, so I'm hustling here to uh, get the Speak Ideal base going. So this is just a pound and a half of ground round. I put some cooking wine in it along with some garlic salt and onion powder and one of my little envelopes of sasong. I can lower it now that it's nice and brown. Ooh, I don't drain my ground beef. I know a lot of people do, but I don't. I keep it all in there. I'm just adding my tomato sauce. Oh yes, public service announcement. Make sure that you're washing the tops of your cans, people. Put some uh, Rotel. I got this kind. Um, let me make sure you can see. Yeah, it says chili fixins. We haven't tried this. It smells good, so throw that in there. That'll give it some heat. I think I've got it all. Nope. Let me get that little bit left. There we go. Got it all over my hands now. This is a professional operation, people. Professional. And then, of course, the controversial beans. Is it chilly if you add beans? I add beans because it makes it go further. <laughs> and that's it. That's all. Oh. Of course not, that's it. I cheat and I use the chili mix. So let me go ahead and get this all stirred together real nice. I'll add the chili mix and then I'll just cover it and simmer it on low for a little while longer. And that cake should be ready. It's been chilling for a few hours now. And Allie and I, there was some topping left over and we put a hurting on that. All right, let me get this in there. Sorry guys, didn't want to do another musical sequence and the labor intensiveness of editing those kind of clips. <laughs> want to get to my weekend, so I'm kind of doing the cheater version and just talking through it. Alright, I think that's it. Let me go ahead and um, put the cover on this sucker and let it simmer. Now, and I gotta dice up this little onion. Glenn and I, we like to put raw onions on our chili dogs. Thumbs up if you do too. See you in a minute. You didn't think I was gonna end the vlog without showing you me eating this cake now, did you? <laughs> but the weekend is here and I am celebrating with a piece of cake. Come on, cake. Oh yeah, I'm getting a big piece. Nice big messy piece. You come too. All right, guys. Mm. I will see you guys tomorrow. Remember that I love you. Allie, leave the cake in the frame. Remember that I love you, and I'll see you in the morning. Good night.